Dash and the Fox having entered into a partnership together for their mutual protection went out into the forest to hunt. They had not proceeded far when they met a lion. The fox, seeing imminent danger, approached the lion and promised to contrive for him the capture of the ass. If the lion would pledge his word not to harm the fox. Then upon assuring the ass that he would not be injured, the fox led him to a deep pit and arranged that he should fall into it. The lion, seeing that the ass was secured, immediately clutched the fox and attacked the ass at his leisure. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't even know where to begin with that one. That is a lesson for you. I mean, actually, it's about three different lessons. One, don't be a trusting ass, um, especially when you're dealing with a little sly fox. A fox will always be a fox, so you don't need to be a trusting ass. Um, <clears throat> also, man, I was, well, I won't go into that, but, and then the fox. Let's look at the fox. Now, the fox, for, for me, in this story, demonstrates the fact that the chickens always come home to roost because the fox, in trying to save his own skin, basically secures his own death. I mean, there was a possibility that him and the fox, or him and the mule, or him and the ass could have got away from the lion, or they could have worked together to overcome the lion, but immediately... The fox goes into deceiving his partner. Now, you got to remember that this relationship was formed between them for mutual protection. And at the first sign of danger, what did the fox do? The fox betrayed the ass. Not only betrayed him, betrayed him in his face. You know, um... It's kind of funny because I, I have to mention this. I said I wouldn't. But I was just um, listening to Nietzsche. Now, um, I think I'm saying his name right. And I'm just going to state this. He hate Germans. He hate Jews. I can only imagine how he felt about black folks. But nevertheless, he made a statement in there that in modern languages... Um, being good and being stupid are 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 made to kind of work together. So, being good and being stupid, and and I'm I'm really rolling that around in my head because the mule is in a sense the good guy, but because of his naivety, he is. The victim, he becomes, he becomes a meal. Not only do he become a meal, he get the, he has to watch his so-called friend be torn asunder by the lion, and then has to uh, wonder about his own death, all because he was a nice, good guy. You know, he was a good guy. He trusted the fox. You know what I'm saying? So now, also, so. The, the lesson in this is that that our deeds always come back to get us. The lesson in this is reciprocity. But also there's another lesson with the lion. For those of you that are lions, because some of us are asses, some of us are foxes in, in this situation. And we have been we have we have played these different roles throughout our life. With the lion. The lion followed a basic rule. That you will see played out in movies and history. When someone betrays their oath. Because the lion, I mean because the fox and the, the ass had a pledge. They had a partnership. And when the fox betrayed that partnership to the lion. In exchange for his own safety. The lion. Immediately when the fox had delivered. Killed the fox. 
you'll see this theme played over and over and over again throughout history. Even in all the gangster movies. I'm a gangster movie fan. Whenever the the individual that's selling their friends out, right after they get done doing everything that they are supposed to do, and they think they're about to receive their reward, they really get a reward. They get sent to the other side. And that's a rule that you that, that we always got to remember because those of you that are in lying positions, not the liar like the fox, but a lion, top dog position. When somebody betrays somebody else, you always have to get rid of that individual because as sure as the sun rises in the east, at least on our planet, <clears throat> that person will betray you. You have to eliminate them. Your promise to them is as good as their promise to the person that they are betraying. Always remember that. This is Brother High Tim, and I'm saying, remember, your deeds always come home to roost. This is Brother High Tim. I'm saying peace, and you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I pray that your day will be as beautiful as you are. Peace.